There are many product available to choose best compound miter saw each with different characteristics, benefits and price. To help you make an informed deception. I found these product much helpful for people like. If you know about the price and other information. Be sure to check my description so without any farther delay let's jump into the video. Number 1. Bosch GCM 12 SD 12 inch sliding compound miter saw. The Bosch Power Tools GCM 12 SD 12 inch miter saw comes with a sliding arm that allows the user to cut boards up to 14 inches wide. The saw comes with pull out material supports on both sides to stabilize boards up to 40 inches long, and it cuts compound bevels in both directions. The clear saw guard on the Bosch miter saw is designed not to obstruct the user's view of the cut throughout the entire process. The trigger handle features an ergonomic grip that can be used by either right-handed or left-handed users just as comfortably, and it features a padded non-slip grip. Fences are adjustable, and the miter scale numbers are etched into stainless steel for durability. Number 2. Metabo HTPC 10 FCGS 10 inch Compound Miter Saw Power tools can get expensive, and miter saws are on the larger, higher-priced end of the spectrum. But with the Metabo HTPC 10 FCGS, you can get an excellent miter saw at a very affordable price. It's got a smaller 10-inch blade that can't cut through larger lumber, but for anything 2 times 6 and smaller, it's a great choice. It's even great for cutting through metals if you switch the blade out. That's fine for a saw that will spend its life in a workshop, but if you ever move outside of your workspace for a project, then the smaller size and lighter weight of the Metabo C10 FCGS will be a blessing that you'll appreciate. Even though it's smaller and cheaper than a lot of the competition, the five-year warranty should provide peace of mind. For us, it all adds up to the best miter saw for the money. Number 3. Dual 12 inch DWS 715 Miter Saw Being one of the kings in the power tool world, it's not surprising that Dualt has ended up with two offerings on our list. The DWS 715 is a stout 15 amp miter saw with a 12 inch blade that's capable of sinking its teeth into anything 5 inches thick and 8 inches wide or smaller. Overall, it's a very capable saw, but it's more expensive than some of its closest competitors without offering quite as many notable features. The fence even slides out of the way for doing beveled cuts, but the blade only bevels to the left, unlike the Metabo saw in the position ahead of this Dualt. However, the Dualt is a good bit lighter at just over 40 pounds. Dualt covers their tools with a three-year warranty, which isn't the best in the industry, but it's far better than nothing. Number 4. Metabo 12 inch C12 FDHS Compound Miter Saw. Metabo HPT is the new name for the well-known tool brand, Hitachi. They've been making quality tools for a long time, and their new name and lineup have brought high performance to a more affordable price point. The C12 FDHS is a 12-inch saw packed with all the standard features for a reasonable price. It's got a 15-amp motor that packs 1,950 watts of power spinning the blade. For trim work and finer carpentry, the blade bevels to both sides. The inside pieces of the fence flip out of the way to allow room so the blade doesn't hit them when it's beveled. Coming in under 60 pounds, this saw was much easier to move than some of the other 12-inch miter saws we were comparing it against. However, the shorter reach means it can't cut the same size lumber, which is why this saw just missed our top 3. Number 5. Skill 12 inch Compound Miter Saws. It wasn't one of our favorites, but the Skill Saw 382101 Compound Miter Saw is a very solid product. Like most miter saws at this price point, this one is powered by a 15 amp motor. It's got a 12 inch blade that can cut through 2 times 6 lumber with ease, but rather disappointingly, wouldn't quite reach through a 2 times 8. Nine positive stops are built in to make it easy and quick to set your miter angles. You also get a laser light to sight up your cut, and to our surprise, this one is pretty accurate and even somewhat visible. It can only cut pieces with a maximum height of 3.5 inches as well, so it's not great for trim work. The blade only bevels to the left, but some other saws in the price range bevel to both sides. It's acceptable for basic wood work, but we don't recommend it. That's all from my end I make helpful video daily so do subscribe my channel. If you need more information or if you wants to know product price to check out of my description for any kind of problem please comment below stay update with our cool products as it will make your life much more easier.